Hey guys, today we're going to focus on how to build this galley cabinet here. Uh, it comes in many different colors and options. This one has a blue laminate. In the rest of the video, I'm going to show you guys with a natural finish cabinet. Uh, this is what it looks like all said and done, and it looks pretty good. Some of the things you're going to need to build this cabinet are a drill, an Allen wrench, a rubber mallet, some big clamps, and some wood glue. Uh, we're going to send you everything else that includes all the cabinetry, wood, hardware, drawer slides, and some assembly screws for it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, I like to set out all the large cabinet pieces out on the table so that I can see what I'm working with and orient them to where they're going in the cabinet. I like to put the two with the drawer slide cutouts in the middle and the edges on the outside. First, I'm going to wipe all the oil off of the drawer slides. They come pre-oiled um, and it's kind of a mess. So I like to wear gloves and wipe them off really well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set them in their orientation in the lockdown slides. This way I know that I have the right drawer slides in the right places before I slide the lockdowns into place. All right, now that you have all of your drawer slides in place, you're gonna go ahead and slide them over into the lockdown position. Now that you've slid your lockdown drawer slides into place, we're gonna go ahead and put in a couple of set screws. I like to do like two or three per drawer slide. The lockdowns are really gonna hold the weight of the drawer slide, but we wanna put the screws in just to keep it from moving. Next, we have our drawer keeper stretchers. These are designed to help the drawers to stop sliding at a certain position, as well as to hold the keeper for the drawer latches. I like to put these in first and then connect the two drawer slide dividers together. All right, next we're gonna put the base of the fridge cabinet into place. You can see you wanna line it up and make sure that your lockdowns line up. One way they will, the other way they won't. Go ahead and put it in the way that they do fit. I like to start with the hammer and tap it into place and then finish with the clamp and get it pushed in all the way. Then you're gonna line it up with the next cabinet and squeeze the cabinets together to get the base all the way in place. Next, I like to stand the cabinet up to put the top two stretchers on. The easiest way to do this is by putting the assembly screws in the pre-drilled holes that go into the two dividers in the center. Then you can use clamps against the divider and the outside pieces to pull the lockdowns into place. Then you might roll the cabinet back onto its back and put the toe kicks on the same way. Don't be afraid to add some extra holes where you feel like you might want some extra screws. I like to do this in the toe kicks under the fridge cabinet. Next, we're going to install the fridge frame. This one just pushes onto place here and is easiest to install with a rubber mallet. Finally, we're gonna install the metal cabinet backs. You're gonna use the black machine screws and barrel bolts to put these together. All right guys, so uh, we've been showing you how to build this galley cabinet and now here it is in the van. So we're gonna show you the last final steps that you're gonna do once you put it in the van. So at the last step that we showed you in the video, it was basically the bare bones cabinet. It had, you know, the verticals, the supports, the all the other pieces, but it didn't have the countertop or the doors or the drawer faces. Uh, and so the reason for that is because when you bolt the cabinet into the van, you want to be able to get in behind those things. So it's a lot easier to reach in there, tighten those bolts to mount it into the van without those in there. And then once it's in there, uh, Straightening these things out on the bench doesn't really work because the cabinet might twist a little bit uh, when you bolt it in. And so now that it, the cabinet's where it's gonna be, it's bolted into the van, that's when we're gonna come in here and install these doors and drawer faces. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes on exactly how to install these. Okay, so for the drawers, we're gonna send you to another video we have on our channel on how to actually assemble the drawer boxes. Um, once you've done that, you're gonna come in here. In the beginning of the galley assembly video, uh, we put in the drawer slides into the cabinet. So now that's all in there. You're gonna have your drawer boxes and you're gonna put them in 
and they're not going to have the faces on them yet. Um, the way that you put them in here is you pull the drawer slides out, and you set them in, and then on the bottom of the drawer, there's these little notches in the back right here. And you're going to have these guys, which we'll show you how to install in the drawer box assembly video. Uh, and so these latch onto those drawer slides. So I like to hold the drawer slide, and then you can kind of hear it click. And then that way when you pull the drawer out, it doesn't come out of those. They do have little latches on them so that you can take the drawers out if you ever needed to get behind there, or you drop something back there, anything like that. So then when you push it close, remember you're not going to have the drawer faces on there yet. Uh, you're going to take those and we like to stick a little clamp through this latch hole and clamp the drawer face onto the box. Uh, there's little adjuster screws in here and they're going to mount into the, into the face of the cabinets. You're going to tighten those just a little bit to where you can still adjust the faces. I like to use little wedge pieces uh, to wedge in here so that the drawer faces are all uh, equally spaced. And then you're going to tighten those down from the inside and just enough to where you can still move it, get it where you want it. And then where, when it's good, you'll come in here and put an additional screw or two into the cabinet, uh, the drawer face, so that it stays where you want it forever. Um, and then you can put your latches in and make sure your latches and catches all line up perfectly. So again, you slide these guys out. And you can see it has these little holes right here. Those line up with these little pins on the drawer slide. Listen for that little click. Perfect. And you're good to go. Now for the door here under the sink. You can see this one is much simpler than the drawer faces as you just have the two hinges. Uh, so these hinges are pre-established where they're going to go because as you notice when you're putting it together that it has these, uh, you know, routings out for these hinges. They go right into place super easy. Pop that down, now it's super tight in there. Same thing over here, we have two screw holes. These guys go on one way. The other way, you can't put them on because they come out too far, so you'll know which way these go in like that. And then the hinges here, they have little releases right here that you can use for getting them out. Um, to get them in, you push the front in first onto those little pins, and then you hear the click like that. There we go. Same thing on the bottom, little click. Good to go. And then it has three adjustments here. Um, this one helps adjust it uh, side to side. So that would adjust this gap between here and here. The one here adjusts your up and down. So this gap between here and there as well as the bottom. And then this guy pushes it in and out and that kind of just helps uh, with your swing right here to have clearance there. So we've already adjusted these hinges. They're perfect, good to go. As you can see, it all looks nice and square. Good to go. Last step in installing the galley cabinet is your countertop. The countertop is going to come with lock dowels on the bottom of it. So once you have your galley installed, you can just set this in, line up the lock dowels, and then slide it into place. Uh, it's not a bad idea because it's such a big piece uh, to go ahead and put a couple set screws in there. Uh, and then, you know, depending on what you choose, it might have this uh, stovetop inset into it, your sink cut out over here. Uh, and then the sink has little clips that install underneath. You're going to put that in last uh, because the, the clips that help hold it in might be in the way of the stretcher depending on the size of your sink um, and other things like that. And also you can't slide your countertop in with the sink attached to it. All right, and then you're going to put your faucet on and your last step is going to be this divider piece here if you chose that option. Um, the divider we screw in from the bottom of the upper cabinets and then uh, it attaches with lock dowels over here. So you'll slide it in, put a couple screws in, and you're good to go. And with that, you have a finished galley cabinet. Looks great, very functional. Enjoy your van. Thanks for watching.